of life is. That is uh, to relieve the friction, unfold the retro plant, and create a permanent condition. Transform management requires two steps. Step one, reposition the retro detachment, back runner gradually. PFO is shaped to unfold the care. 360 degree and the laser or cryotherapy, purple or without purpose. Step two, choosing excess polarity terminus, gas, silicon oil, or PFO for short term terminus. Now we go to break to me. The first, infusion cannula, caused by large tear. We must carefully expect infusion tips before turning on infusion because sometimes subretinol infusion may extend the tear and cause a further retinal detachment. And size of cannula should not be placed on the an area near the aspect of the tear. And Correct to me, we use a lower fat rate and higher suction. And make BPD in the case that there is no BPD. We make BPD with triamsolo chain. In child tier, anterior flag should be cut in all cases. Why is that? Because it may be a year to this place and maybe can scrap holding for anterior pedia. It may fall over ciliary body and subsequently less ciliary body detached and high posterity hypotony. And it also reduces the fraction of the retinal tear. Posterior retinal edge can be cast in the presence of proliferative tissue it will decrease the stress and it tends the tear. After break to me, we use the PFCL to unfold the inverted flap. We should inject PFCL slowly through the cannula over optic disc. The tip of the cannula should remain below the PFCL surface. After in shape the SL, we do C50 degree and no laser or cryotherapy. Finally, we choose the extensive operative tenderness. Depend on the cases, depend on the experiences of surgeon, we can choose the glass or silicone oils or PFO for short term tenderness. That means uh, after we do laser, I leave the PFO for one week or ten days and it changes with that in second operation. Repairs of the non detachment presents uh, the unique challenging for visual retinal surgeon. Today, a pandemic is situated to me why the field and half multiple pushy Asian, the technique to repair it has been changed. Today, I want to share with you something about the repairs in GRT. The first, what is the role of purple in as an astrophantic procedure in repairs in GRT? The second, is there any role for LASIK to me in painting patient and tree? What's the technique to prevent postgenal retinal slippage? And finally, what's the choice in the temporization? The first, we go to popcorn. Do you need to use the popcorn in all cases with GRT? Traditional popcorn support the visual space and supporting the attached area. Now, appendicitis is seriously great to me. The vast majority of GRT 93.5 was pretty quick 
Paplana Rectumi alone, only 8% combines with popcorn. The anatomy with that popcorn is 77 to 94% and 68% to 96% with popcorn. Here you can see some results of popcorn and without popcorn. Sorry. Here you can see some different results in different studies. For example, first in 2004, the final success with purpose 94% and with dark purpose 77%. And for trust, final success with 86% with purpose and 100% with dark purpose. And so, it's difficult to determine the impact of a uh, popcorn in, in outcome of GRT surgery. It cannot possible to compare directly between among different studies because uh, different characteristic of patient and different characteristics of the technique yield. However, final anatomy success rates seem to be also equivalent or slightly better following Baflana rectomy with popcorn compared to rectomy alone. My result of without popcorn is 93% is similar to those results. So for me, on most cases, I did that I don't use the popcorn except in case BPR I use popcorn. And about the lensic to me in patient patient, in general, I, I did not perform lensic to me. I only performed lensic to me in the pain that is a significant cataract that limits my view. And the case of weak PPR, I need to remove a peripheral lensectomy remove membrane. But what's the technique to prevent the posterior retinal slip leash? In giant care, posterior slip, retinal slip is easily to slip during head load exchange. So the most surgeon uses the clear of silicon oil direct, it exchange directly. But the, the problem is uh, that may be an issue with subretinal PFO. For me, almost case with the PPR, I use a PFO for short term tamponade. That means uh, I leave a PFO one week or ten days and it changes uh, in the second operation with gas. This advantageous technique is a uh, second operation. In the case, uh, so in the small, in the small exam on the shine to 90 degree, when I use a PFO exchange, uh, I always turn the head to the independent position. And the choice temporal mostly I use gas. In the case of quick PPR, I use uh, silicone oils or in the active patient, I also use liver oil. So, I saw just my, my study. 49 shy under 10 surgery was performed in Ho Chi Minh Eye Hospital between 2008 to 2014. 34 eyes would include the study. Here's the result. Total 34. Total 34 I popcorn type case. PPR reoperation, night patient, reduction type case. Final success with one operation is 82% uh, and final anatomy success is 85% uh, and mostly patient improves the vision after operation. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Green. Any questions or comments, anyone? Don't have too much time. Thank you so much for your good and nice results. Um, and many things to discuss about giant tanks. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, maybe we go on to uh, uh, Dr. Li Shuyen, who will give us 